Hey there, how's it going YouTube? This is Eli Beaverson Visuals. Welcome to my channel. If you are new around here, I am a photographer based in the Indianapolis, Indiana area. And my favorite thing to do is go out and take street photos, city photos, urban photos, things along those lines. So check out my work on Instagram and Twitter. They're gonna be linked below. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed the opening sequence. And today, we are talking about some of the film that I have in my refrigerator waiting to be put through my Canon AE-1 and shot. So let's kind of go over it. I'm gonna show you some sample photos. Um, if it's a film stock I have shot before, if not, I will uh, kind of tell you what I'm anticipating to get out of it. And uh, yeah, let's jump right into it. So we're gonna start off with Kodak Ultramax. I've got three rolls of it right here. Um, if you've shot film before, you'll know that Ultramax is kind of versatile all around stock. It's 400 speed, so you can shoot it daytime, um, sunset, maybe even a little bit at nighttime if you're really adventurous and you maybe want to push it a little bit. Um, it's not the greatest stock in the world. It's fairly grainy. It's not the sharpest, but it's very versatile. It's a decent all-around stock and it's something good to start with to kind of give you a taste of what film is like. Second up, we got a daytime only stock unless you're on a tripod. This is a roll of Cine Still 50D, so it's 50 ISO. I've seen some really cool colors produced with this. Super psyched to shoot it on a bright and sunny day. Here's another roll that's going to be perfect for a bright and sunny day. This is Kodak Ektar 100 speed. I have heard that this is almost digital-like in terms of its sharpness, um, so I'm really excited to see you know, how good of results I can get from it. Um, again, I've heard this is great for kind of landscape daytime stuff, so we'll see how that kind of fits into my style of photography, but nonetheless, I'm excited to try out this roll of Ektar and see what it does for me. Next up, I've got four rolls of the one and only Kodak Gold. This is super versatile as well. It's great for daytime. I even tend to shoot this on cloudy days sometimes. Um, 200 speed. This is really good stuff. It's really cheap, um, but I'm very happy with kind of the balance of sharpness and color I'm able to get from this myself. I shot a roll of this in Chicago. Um, you can check out that entire video up here. Um, that was a kind of recap video of all the film I shot last month in Chicago. But anyway, Kodak Gold, really good film stock if you're kind of on a budget but want something that's going to be better than Ultramax, in my opinion. Um, give Kodak Gold a try. It is really good stuff. Next up, we're going to go with some black and white. Now, I have not shot much black and white at all. This is a roll of Ilford HP 5 Plus. This is 400 speed, and I know some people that really enjoy black and white. It's not something I've done much of. Um, but I'm excited to see what types of contrast I can get from this, how grainy it is, um, the sharpness, just those tones from black and white that it gives. So a roll of Ilford HP 5 Plus. Next up we got another roll that I have not shot before. This is Kodak Color Plus. I've heard some good things, heard some bad things about this. Um, I'm so excited to shoot it. I want to see how it stacks up against Kodak Gold. So that's a video I'm considering making is Kodak Gold versus Kodak Color Plus. Let me know down in the comments if you're interested in seeing that comparison video because it's something I would uh, enjoy making, so let me know. Next up, Fuji Pro 400H. This is Fuji's Pro line of film. I have shot just one roll of this. Again, I'm enjoying picking up some of these 400 speed stocks that I feel like I can throw in the camera and shoot through a variety of different conditions. So Pro 400H, um, this is another one I want to try and shoot at night on a tripod sometime. I have seen some really good results done with this film at night, so that's something I want to try for sure. But regardless, another good versatile all-around stock, Fuji Pro 400H. So we got a roll of Portrait 800. I've never shot this before. I want to shoot it during blue hour. Obviously, I've shot Portrait 160 and Portrait 400. I'll drop some of those photos in here now. Um, but 800 is going to perform a little bit different. The colors are going to be a little bit different. Um, with that 800 speed, it's going to be able to be shot in lower light conditions, which is exactly how I want to try this. Maybe even some nighttime portraits on this, if I feel like doing that. Last but definitely not least, got just one roll of the Cine Still 800T. This stuff is liquid gold. It's hard to get your hands on. It does not come in stock very often on Cine Still's website. Shot one roll of this, also in Chicago. I'll show you a couple of the photos here. 
Again, I will link in the description that other video where I show you all of my photos I took in Chicago, including every single photo I took on this roll of Cine Still 800 when I uh, was shooting it there. I really enjoy 800T personally. I know it's not for everybody, but I do like the halation effects around the lights at nighttime. I just think it's special, I think it's unique, and it's something you can't emulate on digital. Try as you might. So guys, that covers the, I believe it's like 14 rolls of film I've got to shoot. So I'm excited to just go out and keep making photos this spring. A lot of good uh, film stocks for those daytime sunny days, which hopefully we'll have quite a few of this spring and summer. Let me know what your favorite film stock is to shoot with down below. And did you see anything in this video that you haven't shot before? And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, tap the bell so you are notified whenever I release a video. All of those fun things. Hey, thanks guys for watching, and I'm going to catch you in my next video.